Should you use a wrist rest for your keyboard or mouse? Will these super comfortable double supported wrist cushions help you prevent wrist pain? Today, I'm gonna use the power of science to answer these questions. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step approach to figure out if you actually need a wrist or palm rest. I'm Matt and I'm a physical therapist who has been helping gamers and desk workers keep their wrists and hands healthy for the past eight years. Part of what I do is help gamers assess their setup to see if it might be contributing to any increased physical stress. And wrist rests or palm rests always come up, especially since there are so many out there. So many products that say they can help fix wrist pain, can reduce stress or prevent carpal tunnel syndrome. Well, let me let you in on a little secret. The wrist rest alone will not help you fix your wrist pain or prevent carpal tunnel syndrome. I'll explain after my recommendations. For the keyboard hand, I would use it if it's comfortable for you. But don't worry too much if you are in slight extension since you can use exercises as a way to improve your tissue's ability to handle repeated stress. And so here are the actual steps you can take to know if you need it or not. Number one, get the desired keyboard that you want, maybe the wooting. Number two, if it comes with a wrist or palm rest, use it to see if you like how it feels. If it doesn't, do you get any pain? If you do have pain, is your wrist greater than 30 degrees? If so, then roll up a towel and see if it helps. The palm rest changes the length of the tissues, which does mean a different amount of stress to those muscles surrounding the wrist and forearm. If we're in the safe range of zero to 30 degrees of wrist extension, then it's fine. But as we do get closer to the upper end of that range, there's increased likelihood of issues on the top side of the wrist. Everyone also has different anatomy. So even on the outside, if we have a similar angle, there may be differences of the tissue length based on where the muscles attach. Also, if you have more hand bulk, then you might be in more neutral positioning. If not, then try doing some exercises. If you don't have pain, great, then there's no need to get it. I've also created a quick one page reference sheet for this that you can check out in the description. It can reduce fatigue, but using a wrist rest alone will not reduce pain. For the mouse, in most cases, you won't need one. Well, what about those cool sleek pieces of plastic you've seen? Well, I actually bought one just to see how it feels. Again, while it can reduce the relative extension, it doesn't affect some of the more important contributors to wrist pain, which are one, conditioning of your wrist and hand, and more specifically, your endurance, or the health bar that I always mention. Number two, your lifestyle, like how long you're playing without taking breaks. Yes, the wrist rest can reduce the amount of HP loss per click or flick or cause your wrist to fatigue more slowly. But if you only have 10 HP, then it doesn't really matter. Or if you have 100 HP but never take breaks, then you'll get to zero no matter what. So focus more on the health bar, not on how quickly you lose HP. And when you exercise, you can also improve the efficiency of your muscle activity. And so sorry for all the ergonomics companies out there, but this is the truth. Ergonomics itself won't solve your wrist pain. And in our experience, it is a very small contributor to most wrist issues. Not all of them, but most. Okay, so what about shoulder health? Is there any relationship with a wrist rest and the shoulder? As I mentioned, wrist support can extend the amount of time you can type without fatiguing the muscles at the forearm. But these supports do not offload a significant amount of stress at the shoulder. Forearm supports are the main way we can reduce the amount of activity at the shoulder. As you can see in this study, there's no change in trapezius muscle fatigue with or without the use of a wrist rest. So if you do happen to have some shoulder discomfort or are concerned with shoulder or neck related issues, make sure your forearms are supported. You can also check out some of the other ergonomics content that we have about form support. Okay, what about carpal tunnel syndrome? Wrist pain with excessive typing and gaming is almost never caused by carpal tunnel syndrome and almost always an issue of the tendons. In many of what we've seen from advertisements, they suggest that it can reduce the pressure at the mm. carpal tunnel, which actually has some truth to it, but really doesn't mean anything at all. So let me bust this myth for you. Carpal tunnel pressure has no relationship to wrist pain. And to this day, there has been no study or body of studies that have shown a correlation of carpal tunnel pressure to wrist pain. If you're interested in learning a bit more about the science, I'm gonna go into a bit more depth right now, but if you wanna skip ahead to the recommendations, go ahead. So you might've heard that wrist rest can reduce pressure on the carpal tunnel which some people say helps with wrist pain, but that's not really true. There are no studies that show a link between carpal tunnel pressure and wrist pain. 
And here's why. Even though there are lots of studies on carpal tunnel syndrome, not many have looked at carpal tunnel pressure and wrist pain. Most wrist pain is actually because of the tendons, not the nerve and wrist position. And some research and people believe that more pressure in the carpal tunnel increases the risk of carpal tunnel syndrome. And they think this because They've done studies on people with carpal tunnel syndrome showing that they often have higher pressure in the carpal tunnel. And when pressure was increased experimentally in these studies, symptoms got worse. And so does this actually prove anything? No, it does not. Because while pressure can cause nerve symptoms, as it does anywhere else in the body, it doesn't mean it's always the cause of pain. And specifically at the wrist, pressure is usually a symptom of something else. The studies and the many studies done didn't really consider the nine tendons that travel through the carpal tunnel that can get irritated and can then increase the pressure. But those tissues themselves can be a cause of pain. And so most of the research only focused on reducing pressure by changing wrist position. But after working with so many desk workers and gamers over the past eight years, we found that the real issue is with the tendons and muscles moving our fingers and wrist. Pressure is not the main cause of wrist pain. And if you wanna learn a lot more about this, please check out our full breakdown of the carpal tunnel syndrome myth right here. So that means you can ignore any claims about carpal tunnel syndrome. If you've gotten this far into the video, you now know that wrist rests aren't absolutely necessary. But what matters more is how you use them, your lifestyle, and most importantly, your conditioning. And if you wanna go into more depth about keyboard or mouse ergonomics, check out my Ergonomics 101 playlist. The mouse fit calculator is actually my favorite.